Daniel Radcliffe on stage about 10 meters away is a pretty surreal moment. So for today's coffee chat, I'm using this mug for the first time. I've had it for about maybe a year since Alice Through the Looking Glass came out and I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. Although it is hard to tell how much coffee is in here and I kind of took a swig of what I thought was the last and got coffee all down my pyjamas. So apart from that, so let's see, I will talk about Daniel Radcliffe in a minute, but a few people have asked me to talk about my thoughts on the latest Not Going Out series. Not Going Out, if you don't know, is a BBC sitcom starring, created by and written by Lee Mack. Uh, Sally Breton's in it, Hugh Dennis. And yeah, I really like, I really like this, the series, what are the series 8 just now, series 9? Um, so basically, they now have children. I'm not sure if the time adds up, I can't really remember when the last episode aired, but... Yeah, I mean I like it. It's not as funny. I always think that when you bring children into a sitcom it becomes less entertaining because it usually revolves around the children and things that they do that's supposed to be funny. But thankfully that's not entirely the case with this. We still have a lot of um, Lee and Toby interacting and, and Lucy and Anna. Uh, and yeah, I mean the episode I think I liked most so far from this series is the one where they had to name the one celebrity they were allowed to have an affair with. That's probably my favourite out of this series. And yeah, the only thing the only thing that I don't like is the fact that we haven't got Katie Wicks. Katie Wicks isn't in it now. Um, but apart from that, yeah, not going out. It's still on top form. Also on top form is Daniel Radcliffe on stage. I was on Facebook and the one time I've ever liked a promotional post is there was a promotional post of Daniel Radcliffe and his co-star playing the question game, which is very difficult. And I was like, oh, what's this, what's this advertising? It was advertising Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead, which was, is currently playing at the Old Vic Theatre in Waterloo. And I was like, oh, okay, this will be on maybe in summer. No, it's on now. And straight away I went online, booked a ticket for two days later, and it was like £12.50 or something. Really rubbish seat, but that's irrelevant. Uh, and yeah, two days later I found myself sitting at the end of the upper circle, so I was still pretty close to the stage watching Dana Radcliffe in this rather entertaining Hamlet parody. <laughs> and it was quite a bizarre, um, spontaneous purchase. But yeah, it hasn't really sunk in yet that I have seen Harry Potter on stage, in person. Kind of a surreal moment. Theatre has this problem of either being an all or nothing. Like at the moment, there's not really anything on in the West End that I want to see. Uh, I kind of considered seeing Imelda Staunton in Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf, but the tickets are very expensive. Don't really like Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf. I should point out that just like there's a picture of Virginia Woolf here, the play has nothing to do with Virginia Woolf at all. At all. It's very weird. Um, so maybe I'll get a last minute cheap ticket for that if um, anybody's selling with a discount. But yeah, at the moment there's nothing really else on stage that I want to see. I'm seeing Carrie Hope Fletcher and Sam Womack in The Addams Family in April or May. Uh, I've got a press invite to Lee Mack's show at um, the Garrick Theatre, which is next week. And apart from that, it's just a bunch of standard issue and conversations, but I'm very much looking forward to them all. And with the cinematic side of things, we have so many upcoming films that I'm looking forward to. It's mental. I think Kong Skull Island is out now. A Cure for Wellness, I think, has reached the UK now. So they're both, uh, you know, I'm highly anticipating those. But the one that I've been waiting for for about a year and a half, Hampstead. The film is called Hampstead. To be honest, I don't really like the title of the film, but it's about um, this man who lived on the heath and then he was asked to move and it was a big court order and it kind of tells his story and yeah, it's we, we have a trailer for it, so I will link the trailer in the description. You must check out this trailer. It's out June? I think it's at the end of June. I want to say June the 27th, but I could be wrong. But for me, because I spent most of my time in Hampstead seeing all of these places that I recognise and frequent, it's just so thrilling. And I mean, the story itself sounds really lovely. The trailer looks good. It looks like it's got some humour to it. Which I wasn't expecting. I thought it would be a straight cut serious drama. So it looks really entertaining and I just, you know, I've been waiting for this for a year and a half so I'm really excited. But do let me know in the comments what films you're looking forward to. I don't know what the next one I'm going to see is. I kind of want it to be a cure for wellness or maybe the Bye Bye Man if I can find a cinema that's still showing it because 
Everybody says it's rubbish and I really want to see it. Coffee's cold, I need to pee, I'm going to leave this video here. Let me know what theatre shows and films and TV shows you are currently watching, loving and looking forward to and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye!